in the track up I'm never gonna back down Hands over my heart I do this for my town I do this for my crowd So turn me up real loud My time, my time None of you people can tell me to stop With a rebuild in the works and the trade deadline on the horizon, three senators unrestricted free agents, Mark Stone, Matt Duchesne, and Ryan Dezingle, opted not to re-sign. With no time to waste, GM Pierre Dorian and his hockey operation got to work on reshaping the franchise. We feel our, our fans pain. You know, as a general manager in a hockey group, we're disappointed that you know, that Mark Stone and Ryan Zingle and Matt Duchesne didn't want to sign with us. So we decided to make sure that we acquired the best future assets to make sure that this rebuild was going to be successful. And we, that's the reason we acquired not just picks, but also prospects, because prospects can play sooner than some of the picks will play. I can't express to you how, as a hockey group, we're so happy to get Eric Branstrom. The Swede is one of the most talked about defensive prospects in the game. Drafted 15th overall in the 2017 draft, this smooth skating phenom has already had an impact on the Belleville Senators. I'm a defensive defenseman, so I like to like hold the puck and make good plays, so that's what I say. It's my, my strength, I think. I try to develop my defensive game. I'm not that tall, so I need to have a good positioning and be at one step ahead all the time with the stick and my, my body position, so that's what we're trying to work on every day. Also that day, the Sens traded defensive prospect Patrick Seeloff to Anaheim for veteran forward Brian Gibbons. Centers it, a big chance score! And there is Brian Gibbons with his first goal as an Ottawa Senator. And the game is tied. Earlier that week, the Sens got major pieces back from the Blue Jackets for Matt Duchesne. In addition to players Vitaly Abramov and Jonathan Davidson, the deal allowed the Senators to secure an unprecedented haul of early round prospects. With the addition of a guaranteed first round pick and a conditional first round pick, the transaction brought to 17 the number of picks in the first three rounds of the 2019, 2020 and 2021 NHL drafts. Finally, the Ryan Dezingle move brought Anthony Duclair close to home. Yeah, I mean, I uh, just finished back to back, didn't get much sleep last night. Uh, trying to catch up some, on some sleep uh, on the plane there and feeling pretty tired, but we'll see what happens. Looking forward to being part of this, uh, this group and being part of this uh, rebuild. I think uh, it's really exciting times and um, you know, obviously they have a bright future, so I'm um, glad to be here. Duclair is practically a local kid. Born in Laval and raised in Point Claire by his Haitian Canadian parents. Declare has already scored two goals and an assist with the Ottawa Senators. Gatineau's own Jean Gabriel Pajot played against him in junior and is thrilled to have him as a teammate. He's a really talented player. Uh, he really works hard, so it's uh, it's good to, to, to have him here. I think he's going to fit well in uh, with our team. Duclair was cleared to play his third game in a row, joining Ottawa in the homestand against Calgary. This would be a game that Duclair would almost win, and that Brady Kachuk would face off against his brother Matthew for the first time in the NHL. Must be very special to play against your brother, so it's uh, yeah, definitely have to be two uh, proud parents in the stands tonight. It's a proud moment for the parents and proud for the brothers too, and for the whole family. I'm sure there'll be uh, quite a few of the Kachuk family here today. Over the past couple of years he's uh, he's taken me over in size, strength, everything so uh, hopefully just for my play on the ice can still speak for myself. When they were younger they're typical brothers they always went outside and played together and then it always ended up in a scrap and they would come in one be chasing the other one. No chance I, I seen them fight uh, when we were younger they were they were fighting all the time out of the trampoline and stuff, so uh, I'll, let, I'll let them keep going. I don't want to break that up. Not having a feel for the moment. The Kachucks face off against each other. Brady wins it. We're underway. In the first period, Matthew thought he'd scored family honors, but his goal was disallowed for goalie interference. So he kept trying. Then in the second, Brady popped one in, waving to his family in celebration. 
In the third, the Sens had their own goal disallowed for goalie interference. Then, with less than a minute left in the game, Anthony Duclair came so close, ringing one off the post. 19 seconds later, the Flames score, winning the game. Matthew, I um, know he scored too, but uh, he's going to count it. But um, no, it was pretty special, and uh, that was a special night. The deadline gave us a glimpse of Drake Batherson and Logan Brown. But the Belleville prospects couldn't stay in Ottawa, as they were needed to help in their own playoff run. Belleville is on a 17-game point streak and fighting for a spot in the playoffs. The week was undoubtedly tough, but we're confident the future is bright. For every parting veteran we salute, there is a future star to welcome home. All roads lead home. Turning the track up, I'm never going back down. Hands over my heart, I do this for my town. I do this for my crowd. So turn me up.